But we're also going to be talking a bit about World of Warcraft Classic. Now, I know a lot of you have been wondering where we're at with that project. It's been a few months since our last update. Well, at BlizzCon, we're going to have a whole lot to say. All right, we have a panel digging into the philosophies that have guided us in recreating the Classic experience, as well as a lot of the technical challenges, and a full update on where we stand on the project. And... We're also really excited to announce that you're going to be able to jump in and try out WoW Classic for yourself. That you're going to be able to jump in and try out WoW Classic for yourself. That you're going to be able to jump in and try out WoW Classic for yourself as part of our floor demo. What's up, guys? I thought, a, uh, I thought an exciting classic news video such as this deserved a classy little glass of Red Bull. Guys, in case you hadn't already heard. We got a little bit of classic news. We got a little bit of classic news. And uh, as it looks, we are going to be getting a playable classic WoW demo at BlizzCon. I talked about this a little bit on my streams. Uh, I, I think I might have mentioned this on Classicast even. But... Um, I was saying that I thought that we might get classic news by the end of this month, but I thought that we wouldn't get any news if it was in October. I thought that they wouldn't really give us anything like within the month prior to BlizzCon, but they could give us something a little bit earlier in order to uh, kind of hype it up a little bit. I think that you can't really hype up WoW Classic more than saying there's not only going to be a demo playable at BlizzCon, but if you have a virtual ticket, then you are going to have access to the BlizzCon WoW Classic demo at home. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's something that I'm so incredibly excited about. Um, we're going to, I mean, this kind of goes along with a thought, you know, we, we saw the classic uh, dev water cooler update a few months ago. This kind of continues going along with that thought that they're actually much closer than what they've been saying. They're much closer than what we really think they are, right? What a lot of people think they are. Uh, I, I know in the last classic cast we talked about, or actually this was two classic casts ago, classic cast 12, where um, John Statt brought up the uh, prediction that he thought it wouldn't come out till 2021. Uh, I said that, you know what, I, I think that it could still be late 2019. I think that even more so now that I, I really think that it could be late 2019. Um, I really, I, I really can't, uh, I feel like I, I can't really express how excited I am by this. Um, not, and here's the thing, having a playable demo at BlizzCon is one thing, but in order, or, or the fact that they are kind of opening the doors to the classic demo to virtual ticket holders is huge. Right. Okay. You can look at it from one perspective and say, "Oh, look at them. They're they're going to get a lot of money because people are going to buy a virtual ticket to try out the classic demo and this and that." And it's like, you know what? They are right. They are. But we're still going to get to play a classic demo for a virtual ticket holder. I, I actually don't know how much the virtual tickets are. I think they're like they're like fifty bucks or something. I'm not sure. But they're really just increasing the value of that virtual ticket tenfold, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So. Uh, whatever, I think that's good. I think that's a good idea for them to do too because you can have a, a classic demo on the floor and you can only have so many people playing it. Having a lot of people on this classic demo server that they're going to put out is going to not only help stress test it for them, I, I think that's an important thing, but also it's, it's just going to hype it up even more. Another thing, guys, that uh, they don't really go into this on the article, but they talk about it in the video, is that they are going to have an entire panel uh, basically dedicated to Classic. Uh, you know, again, we talked about this. We talk about this all the time, and, and I really, really do believe this. I, I think BlizzCon is going to be so heavily focused on Classic that for those of us who love Vanilla WoW, or th those of us who have been waiting for this for a very long time, I should say, uh, are going to be very, very, very excited and very, very, very happy with uh, with what we see at BlizzCon. Uh, I think I think the stakes are high. They're, set they're setting the bar high here, but uh, 
I'm hoping they deliver. I think they will. Uh, wanted to give you guys an update about this. Uh, also, I wanted to apologize for my, my messy room. And I wanted to make another video about this, actually. But uh, for those of you guys who haven't been watching my streams or uh, maybe following me along uh, recently, in the last few days, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to talk about that in another video. You guys are here for, for classic news. Uh, if you guys want to see that, you can see that in the other video. But anyway, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Twitch channel. I stream almost every single day. Twitch.tv slash SVNTV. If you guys want up-to-date WoW Classic news, if you guys want to listen to Classic Cast, the WoW Classic podcast, the premier WoW Classic podcast, the last episode, we just had Mark Kern, original Vanilla WoW team lead on, along with John Statt. And John Statt was actually on the episode prior to that, too. Uh, so you guys should check, definitely check those out if you're interested in WoW Classic if you're interested in any sort of uh, classic WoW content. But uh, you guys can expect some more stuff from my YouTube here in the, uh, in the next few months, weeks, and so on. So if you like my channel, if you like me, hit the subscribe button. If not, that's cool too. <laughs> Thanks, guys.